Now that you know a little bit more about the different styles, we'll show you how you can add modifiers to them, just like with layers. Remember that when you unfold the source of a layer, you can add any image modifier, like a blur or distortion, which will change the original image. These same modifiers can also be applied to styles, like the fill, by just clicking on the button on the right. Here, for example, let's add a blur modifier to blur the result of this fill that's been rendered. You can add any image modifier to a style, whether it's bundled with autograph or created through a package. Here, for example, turbulent displace will apply distortions. So you can add as many modifiers as you want to each style. Just keep in mind that they're applied in the order in which they're defined on the list, always from top to bottom. They can also be reordered in the same way as modifiers that are applied to layers. If we add a stroke style, we can have multiple styles to which we can specifically add modifiers. For example, we can add another turbulent displace to the stroke, since the default parameters are the same, so the two distortions will be on top of each other. By modifying the parameters of the second turbulent displace, we can generate variations in these distortions, which are applied separately to the fill and stroke. These modifiers are applied after the vector elements have been rendered, so we can go back to these elements at any time to modify them. Some modifiers, like the gradient modifier, radically change the visual rendering of the fill style. So we can change the gradient type, for example to radial, to match the circular shape of the smiley face. Then we can just scroll down to the gradient editor to change the colors. Modifier parameters can be managed in the exact same way as when they're applied to layers. Keep in mind that it's also possible to go back to the fill or stroke parameters, for example to animate stroke progression. You can temporarily disable these modifiers to work on the paths and the stroke style. Let's switch to separated path and alternate modes to gradually make these paths appear and disappear. If we re-enable the modifiers, you'll see that this progressive drawing is distorted by the turbulent displace after the path has been drawn. Reducing the amount value will bring us a little closer to the original silhouette. All we need to do now is animate these parameters for example, by adding a current time generator to the slice parameter, and then going in to set the multiplier to 100. Now the distortions from this turbulent displace are driven by the current time. Now that we know how to add modifiers to styles, we'll go over how to enable and disable them, change their transparency, and even their blending mode in a future video. In this video, we went over how to add modifiers to styles, change modifier parameters, and reorder modifiers.